Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Libra. Your first message we have hearing messages from Spirit. I am a clear channel for messages from Spirit. Could be intuitive. We can hear messages from other people that spirit works through as well. Dreams will be significant too with that kind of energy. Sometimes we just read the signs. So, I mean, just be very awakened this week. You know, that's the energy here because that will be spirits guiding you in some way. Let's see what we have for you. I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael card. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Message for Libra for the week. Thank you. Yes, we have number five. Be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth, then let souls take it from there. So being true to you is part of this. I think you're, you're being guided. Let's see what we have. I mean, we're always being guided. But I feel that there's a significant awareness of that this week. Let's see what we have for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Libra for the week. What does Libra need to hear? Thank you. <laughs> nice, we have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. Can be abundant, solid, stable, secure. So let's see what we have with that. We have the Death card. Knight of Swords, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. Nine of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands. King of Swords can be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, male or female, or the energy of the card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Let's see what we have with our Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles for Libra, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, Libra. We've got the Knight of Pentacles with the... <laughs> this is lovely. I mean, this is very abundant. There's some kind of ending here. Um... The key with this here, Libra, is to, to look up and look forward. And that's what I feel Spirit is telling you here. Look forward. Just move forward. Don't look back. There is some kind of ending here. It might affect your financial stability, your security, again, your own abundance. Uh, Nine of Pentacles can be linked with an entrepreneur, so it can be somebody who owns, own, owns their own business. It could also be... Um, Again, where you feel that in many areas could be a job, business opportunity, you know, business uh, path. It looks like there's an ending here. The death card is an ending, a completion. But it is a card of out with the old, in with the new. And we've got the new opening up for you, which is interesting. Um, whether you've been dealing with this kind of ending, maybe wanting to get back to financial stability and security, but this is the energy here. Sometimes we work through kind of like periods or notice periods as well. That could apply or contract like ob obligations. I mean, whatever that scenario would be. But the death card is um, out with the old, in with the new. It allows you to shed an old skin. It is linked with deep, profound change and transformation, but an ending. There is an ending here. The... Knight of, Knight of Swords, I think that you have 
you've already been taking action though by the looks of things because this is getting out there and and networking um you know this can be getting out there pursuing it can even be multiple opportunities the thing that's on the eight of wands card we have eight wands getting out there um networking meeting people uh, connecting having conversations meetings whatever that scenario would be this just feels like what you're doing in response to this and that would be the energy as well spirit would be telling you get out there because it might well be spirit is is helping bringing something in maybe something better suited as well um, because we have uh, the king of wands and the knight uh, king of swords king of wands is somebody who can hold the wand of opportunity but this can be a, a leader in business somebody who is generally charismatic go getting driven leads from the front there's just this feeling here of, of you coming back into your own with this uh, with this there libra you know the um king of swords male or female this is likely you uh just feeling more empowered feeling that you've got that sense of achievement again that things are moving in the right direction that you're putting some kind of plan in action this is the energy here because the ten of swords is an ending but it's about so it's about releasing from an ending releasing from some where you might have felt stabbed in the back betrayed deeply wounded deeply hurt um Sometimes also linked to health issues as well. If a health issue affected your, again, your money areas, your job, your business, you know, or your own business, the same energy would apply. So the, this is the scenario. There is some kind of painful ending here, but you get to surrender it now and feel like you're coming back into your own. The Ten of Swords always shows there is the completion that you get to draw a line under something that has been difficult, painful, hurtful, but surrender it. The new light is coming in. The clouds are lifting and there is a new day, a new dawn rising. <laughs> and that's what the cards are really saying. There's a feeling of let go of the old, let the old, let the old day go in order for the new day to rise. I mean, this is the energy here. The energy here with the ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles this is very clearly someone making you an offer that links with a new abundant path i mean this is really beautiful um job business opportunity career abundance i mean the cards are pretty much kind of like a really clear you just get to surrender from something that has been painful i think that this is the energy here of, of being true to you however this ending is happening for you there can also be a link with self-value, self-worth, self-appreciation, you know, you know, and an environment or an experience that you deserve as part of that. But it, I think it is affecting your financial stability and security. Um, but this just feels like look up, look forward. There's something to move towards. You can draw a line under this whole experience because it looks like change is coming in. I think this, be honest with yourself as well, it can be why, why this ending is happening or had to happen, you know, I mean, you know, was it really working for you? Were you really happy there? You know, you know, was it something that you really wanted to do? Was it something that you really wanted to enjoy? Because it might well give you the opportunity to move forward to something that brings you greater abundance and happiness and success and value. I'm intrigued. Let's pull one more card. Let's pull one more card for Libra. Thank you. I'm just going to shuffle a little bit. The Seven of Wands. <laughs> Stand your ground. This is defending and protecting what's important to you. In this respect, it feels like your financial stability. <laughs> two aces now we've got the ace of wands the exciting wand of opportunity an exciting new path is opening up for you <laughs> the four of wands it brings in celebration milestones achievement for you your home your family your relationship i mean this is just lovely 
You know, Libra, this is just, I mean, it feels like Spirit's pretty much opening a door for you here. This is just Spirit telling you, keep on going what you're, keep on doing what you're doing, stay the course, stand firm, persevere, because it's going to be worth it. Okay, what do we have for, for Libra as a final message? Thank you. What do we have for Libra as a final message? We have manifestation, yeah. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation is step one. I mean, I understand that things are not easy with the Ten of Swords energy and the Death card, but oh my goodness, Libra, what's coming your way, what you're heading towards? There's a brand new door being open for you. Just trust. Look up, look forward, don't look back. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading maybe found it helpful useful if you did please do like share and subscribe i wish you a wonderful week i will see you next time